hopefully you guys can see exactly how easy it is to take someone from 1.4 in their revenue to 2.5 just with the right small kinds of tweets, right? This is putting more effort into the things they already do well. Ahoy, Ahoy. babies! Ahoy, everyone! Is uh, We're here today <laughs> with a Sam Cart Tuesday takeover. Uh, the day everyone loves. It's everyone's favorite day. Every Tuesday at 4 p.m. here on YouTube. Here we are. Where we, myself, Scott Moran, the co-founder here at Sam Cart, and our video production extraordinaire, Jordan. That's right. He Anderson. What's up? We dive into creator businesses. We break down how they're making their money, how much money are they making, and where are they missing out. And today, we have a very, very fun one. Uh, someone who has found a way, as Jordan said today, earlier today to me, someone who has found a way to monetize the boat emoji. Exactly. They branded the boat emoji. Pretty the, dope, the, the, honestly. The ship emoji, I should say. The ship emoji. That's yes. true. It is a ship emoji. But uh, yeah, today we are going to talk to you guys about Ship 30. I believe the full brand name would be Ship 3430, right? That's right. But you are, as they call, Jordan, a, I'm a shipper. I am a shipper. So a yeah, shipper. it's a 30-day uh, online course where you write 30 articles in 30 days, and it's all written online, and you post it on Twitter, and it helps grow your following. So let's talk about Ship 30 for 30, right? We're going to get right into it, right? What is this uh, brand? Again, Jordan, you are a shipper, meaning you have bought exactly yes. the course that we're looking at here right now, right? Uh, what yeah, is I graduated to say about two weeks ago. So yeah, you start, you buy the course and then they onboard you. And then for the next 30 days, they prepare you and say, Hey, you are going to every single day show up on Twitter. You're going to write your blog post. You're going to post it. And then everyone in the ship 30 is going to give you some feedback and just do that over and over and get reps and reps and reps. So the goal is after 30 days, you've posted 30 unique pieces of content mm -hmm. and you're just in the habit of writing. Exactly. Yeah. You build, you're building the habit and you're also posting online, which instead of like, you know, we always talk about like kill your blog mm. because if you're posting on your blog, no one can read your stuff, but you're posting online, everyone can see. You're posting your on stuff. Twitter, you're posting on Facebook, you're exactly. on Instagram, wherever you're so, posting where the people are, right? Go to where the people are, right? It's a great well, that's what we do. So let's go ahead without any further ado. Yes. Uh, where's my money? Where's One of my money? favorite family guy scenes of all time, right? Where is the money? How is Ship 30 for 30 making money? Where are they going, right? And uh, and what are they doing? So uh, these are the uh, the masterminds. The co-founders, I guess. The co-founders, the yeah. captains, if you will, the, if we're yes. going to stick with that. The captains. Uh, Dickie Bush, Nicholas Cole, uh, by all intent and purposes, it seems as if Ship 30 for 30 is a very successful brand. Uh, they've done a lot of really good things. And that's a fun part about today's takeover is as much as I think we're going to impart some wisdom about how we could be maximizing the revenue from what they're doing, what we're going to show you guys is just sort of like a masterclass in how does a brand that is working and functioning and, and rolling online, seemingly this is their full-time job. Yeah, it's just one online course and they've taken it to what we're about to show you a multi-million dollar business. This is the general look at what they're doing, right? 2,000 customers, $500 a pop, right? Is a million in revenue. Awesome freaking job. So cool, right? Very, very cool what's going on here, right? But the good news is their product path does not stop there. What do we talk about here in the Sam Cart Takeover all the time, right? Jordan, what are the three worst words in the history of Sam Cart Takeover that if you're doing this, you're killing your own growth and your, your business is a fraction of the size it should be? Oh, yeah. It's a beginner mistake, but even the advanced people do it. It is one and done one and done. That's one like and done. One and done. If your sales are one and done, okay, then this is all you can make. And this is fine. This is good, right? But there's, yeah. you know, there's only so many levers to kind of grow a business. But if you are one and done, meaning someone buys one thing from you and they've got nothing else to go buy, nothing else to spend their money on, right? That is a problem. You are capping your own growth and yep. missing out on a massive opportunity. Thankfully, ship 30. It's kind of one and done, but it's kind of not, right? Here's what happens. On day one, you buy Ship 30, right? And if you buy that mm -hmm. a couple days later when your cohort eventually starts, right? Jordan, tell us, what is TypeShare, yeah, right? Because so they're going to ship, they're going to say, hey, come buy TypeShare. What is that? Yeah, so they invented a SaaS product that is basically a writing app. So they're selling a writing course and they say, hey, want to use our writing app to write all your essays and ship all your essays. And it's it's Great like, congruent it's, offer. It's peanut butter and jelly. It makes yep. total sense. Uh, but yeah, that's the next thing. So they say, as you're joining Ship30, they'll say, get your free 30-day trial of TypeShare. And if you want to buy it after the trial ends, it's $200 a year. Love that. Yeah, so it's not right away, right? You're going to buy Ship30, and then later they're going to say, hey, come mm -hmm. get TypeShare, right? Yes. $200 a year. It's got a monthly price, but we're just going to keep it simple, right? We'll keep it at year. Keep it massive. And then after that, at the end of the cohort, they have something for you as well, right? Jordan, tell us, what is the captain's table? Okay, so the captain's table is sort of a mastermind group. It's where, you know, you've written online, you found your niche, and now you're maybe thinking about 
uh, monetizing something or like basically what they say their their sales pitch is getting earning your first dollar on the internet. So that's what the captain's table is. It's a mastermind group where you can learn how to earn your first dollar. So I love it. Here's this dollar. nice product path, right? Over the first, you know, after you become a customer, the first, you know, 30 days or however long this might take, it might, you know, give or take a few, right? They've got three different things for someone to buy, right? And so here's where we think that nets them out, right? Overall, not everybody's going to take everything, right? But we did some rough math and mm -hmm. kind of what we know from Sam Card, right? Our best guess is that on average, right, enough people are taking those other two offers, the second, third offer, that it boosts their order size, their average order size, right, to something like $730, right, which totally changes this math equation. Now right. you have 2,000 customers that on average, right, spend something like $730, a big freaking increase, bringing that total revenue to $1.46 million. 46% more sales. And again, we might be low on that. You know what I mean? This is not like exact science type stuff, but just by giving those customers a chance to spend more, right? I think a low ball estimate is saying that they're probably adding 46% more revenue just by giving someone the chance. I think so. Yeah. They've got a hot enough audience that we estimated maybe 25 to 30% are, are converting, but it could be 50% of the people running through this course. It are, could be higher. Are, are Absolutely. And yeah. there's the lesson. The lesson is, right, your customers, people who have spent money with you are a massive opportunity, right? If you're not giving your customers a chance to buy more stuff, you could be stuck on the top line. And it's funny to think you'd be like, oh man, if I got to a million in revenue, well, why am I stuck, right? But the idea is your business could actually be many times bigger, right? Just because you're not giving someone a chance to spend more money. So, that is a great little lesson. Take that away from you. I think this is something that they are doing very, very well. Uh, Naomi, great example of a yep. SAM card takeaway. Hashtag 46% more sales when customers have a chance to purchase more, right? Absolutely. And again, that could be a low ball number. This is the kind of thing we see a lot. So listen, if you want to grow wherever your business is, right? This is probably not exactly what your business is here on the screen. You know what I mean? But wherever your business is, if you want to grow, focus on these two things, all right? If you want to ride a Doge rocket to the moon, mm -hmm. okay, focus on getting more customers in the door and helping them spend more on average, okay? You don't need everybody to spend more. You just need to give some people the chance because that is exactly what is going to happen. And you will be like this very, very happy Shiva Inu, right, on his way to the moon. Right. Or her way to the moon. I don't know. So now let's talk about the problems, okay? Because there are problems here, right? Here are the problems. Problem number one, right? Keep the party going, right? Right this very second. I think in general, we have, uh, you know, the guys here at Ship 30 for 30 have done a great job of taking that first step in letting customers spend more. But I think what they've done is sort of like a half step. And I think there is a huge amount of upside to tap into if we keep going. So what would that look like? All right, let's take a look at this. This is, it's the takeover time, right? Let's do this. So this is their product path as it stands, right? Ship 30 for 30. A couple of days later, Share type share, right? A couple of weeks later, give them the captain's table. I think we should be adding two things right at the point where you're buying ship 30 for 30, right? Add them as, as order bumps, add them in as one click upsells. I don't care. A lot of ways to get that done. Give your customers a chance. You should be selling, right? Lifetime access to this course. This is a unique wrinkle, right? Lifetime. You, yeah, let's get some Customers yeah, don't get, get that. What do they get? Right. Let's give some context. Yeah. For ship 30, it's a 30 day course. So at, but after the 30 days, you lose access to the course. So you're kicked off the boat. You kicked off the boat. So what a lot of customers do is they will circle back around, they'll go through the revolving door and buy the course again for the next cohort over and over. So we thought, okay, if we, if Ship30 has so many repeat customers, why don't we offer a feature that says, hey, instead of having to buy this over and over and over again, just buy it one time for $1,000 flat, and you have access to every now and future cohort. But Jordan, if people are buying it again and again, why give them lifetime access? Because we're considering the average. So exactly. What ha what percentage of people actually are repeat customers versus just one-time purchases? Exactly. My... Uh, 100%. I mean, yeah. listen, this is hypothetical, but I'm telling you, from what my expertise inside of CM Card and watching what our customers do, if you guys added that lifetime access thing, and again, this is the same rule for whatever you guys are currently doing, you know what I mean? This is not just for the ship show 30 for 30 guys. But if you add this in here, this lifetime number, you're going to get so many more people to say, yeah, awesome, let's do it, than what you would if you just rely on people coming back again and again. You're going to come out so far ahead there that you're going to be able to take that average order value number and bump it up higher, right? And then the second 
uh, offer that I think should be right on the spot is I think every single person that buys Ship 30 for 30 should have a one-click little order bump, right? And again, we'll we'll showcase this on a SAM card page. We built this out and we'll showcase it, right? But is everyone should have a chance to get that free share, that free trial of type share with one click of the mouse right on the spot, right? If you make it that easy for people, right? And then a couple of days later, you still, everyone who didn't buy it at first, you can still say, hey, by the way, come get TypeShare. But you get another bite at the apple. Mm -hmm. And I think all of a sudden, here's what's going to happen, okay? Is if you introduce those things right there, the math equation is going to change again, okay? And my best, my rough math would say I'd probably be able to take what is now a $730 average order and take it to something like $850 or higher, right? Nice. Which would then bump that revenue up to $1.7 million from the same 2,000 customers, okay? We haven't even added an extra cut. You don't need a drop of extra traffic. You don't need one extra person to buy. We're talking about just found money by giving your customers another opportunity to come and buy your stuff, right? So big, big changes just by giving customers a chance, okay, to spend more money. All right, sweet. So, all right, so we're at one point seven million dollars. We still are on our way to two point five. We're about halfway dollars. home to the increases, which we're talking almost about here. there. All right. So, what's next, Scott? Yeah. What is next here? So, uh, now it shouldn't stop there. Okay, we still keep going. Keep that party going. Give your customers a chance to spend more. This captain's table thing. Okay, that they're pitching at the end of thirty days. Mm -hmm. So, at the end of the cohort, you got a ton of happy customers. Tell me how that went down. Everyone's excited. I mean, even on the last couple of calls, they're showing slides of like, hey, these are all the people that have joined the captain's table. You still have a chance to join the captain's table, learn how to monetize this stuff. Don't just, you know, it's it's a it's a great offer. It's really attractive. And then you see everyone how excited they are because they've just finished the course. They're on that high and it's like, cool, send them right into the next thing. I love it for sure. So now there comes the matter of how does someone actually buy this? Okay. So Jordan, they came to you and said, Check out Captain Stable. You're going to love this, right? What did they actually do? Because we've got two yeah. things that I think if they pitched Captain Stable using these two things, I think they would see, again, a dramatic increase in how this goes. Tell me what I'm seeing here on the screen. Yeah, so what they do is they will DM you and say, hey, Jordan, you're doing such a great job at Ship 30. We want to personally invite you to the Captain's Table. And they sent you a DM. They sent you the links. Uh, Dickie even sent me a personalized video saying, hey, Jordan, what's up? So glad that you came. Uh, and... Yeah, but then it leads you to a link, and then it leads you to another Stripe checkout, and so you got to go buy again. You got to do the whole process over again. Uh, but like I know on Samcard, there's such an easier way to do that than having to send someone through an another checkout process. There is every time you send someone a link and rely on them to click it and open and go back and grab their credit card and pull out mm -hmm. an order and put in their information, all that kind of stuff. You are just sinking your conversions. Let me tell you about one little feature inside of Samcard that I think could explode the sales of what I imagine is yep. maybe their most profitable offer in this entire thing. And that feature is called add to order. Okay. There's a button inside of Sam cart that basically think about it like this. If I was Dickie instead, and I said, Hey Jordan, come check out captain's table, right? Okay. All you need to do, this is what it is. If you say yes to me right now, I'll run your card on file for it and we'll be all set. Y E S. Jordan texts back. Yes. I go into Sam cart. I pull up his order and I charge him for captain's table or whatever else I want to sell yep. using the credit card saved on file. And so uh, here we are. Yeah, pay yeah. Payment options. Type in your dummy credit card. And folks, you can do this as well. You're in test mode. You're not going to be charged. This is a fake credit card. Zero dollar charge. Not going to happen. Yep. But Don't you worry. will experience everything that we see here. So, yep. and then what are these, Jordan? These are the two boxes that we talked about, right? Where yep. we're, we are pitching every single customer is going to have a one click chance to buy TypeShare, a 30 day free trial and yep. to buy the lifetime access for the uh, the ship 30 for 30 course. So all they gotta do is hit add to order. So yeah, for the type share, it is $0 right now. And then it says a $200 yearly starting in 30 days. So they are starting their free trial right now after they check out. Wow. Um, and then ship for life, again, you can just say $1,000 flat, add my order. So now we've taken an order that was $500 and we've turned it into $1,500. With another 200 coming in 30 days, assuming someone's going to stick around. So Exactly. And then, uh, yeah. So is there anything you want to take out of the order? I know we're going to do a course cross-sell or are we all set? Uh, no, this is it. So, all set. Yeah, Let's and buy. then we also included the 22 Laws of Digital Writing. That's ah, their free ebook. free ebook. You bundle in that product and say, hey, look, it's here. It's free. You get it for free, but you get a chance to see it right there so that your customers are just more thrilled with what they're getting. We just took you guys inside of a SAM card account and showed you what's in there, right? Well, the problem here, okay, is we're going to call this DIY, right? The DIY works until it doesn't. 
Okay. And uh, right now, inside of uh, the 30 for 30 course, you know, I mean, this is Jordan showing you how people buy this, right? This is a Stripe checkout pop up, right? Stripe checkout, if you want to build and, and take payments and stuff like that, right? You can build directly on top of Stripe and just deploy one of these checkouts. It, uh, it requires some technical know how, right? Because you don't really like, you kind of have to customize it yourself, right? It's kind of like, someone giving you a blueprint to a house and you got to build the house. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of the right way to say it, I think. Um, and so, you know, this is all nice and DIY, but you know, there's a lot of things that there's a lot of things that Stripe by itself does not do. Okay. And so it, it's, it's a nice thing to do. It's, it's deployable The clue. They've done a good job of, of working kind of into their, their program, but you can see of the stuff that we just recommended Stripe does 0% of those things out of the box. Right. And so, Again, that Stripe checkout pop-up, it looks nice, it's simple, but realistically, this is one and done, right? This yep. is keeping them from letting their customers go and buy more stuff, right? Uh, it is one and done. There are no like built-in reports outside of just sort of the really, really basic type stuff. There's no built-in integrations. You have to li literally create that stuff by yourself or you're relying on Zapier. There's no card abandonment. There's no affiliate tracking. There's no anything kind of stuff like that. You're building all of this yourself. Again, it's kind of like someone handing you the, the blueprints to a house and saying, go get them. You know what I mean? That's kind of mm -hmm. what it's like. And so when you shift it over, you have a tool like Sam card. It's basically like saying, okay, cool. Here's your house. Here's the keys. Go have fun. Right. It, full subscriptions, built in reporting, stored credit card technology all over the place. Right. Order management. We build this stuff for you. Right. And so it is, uh, it is all the benefits and power of easy and simple buying for your customers taken to the nth degree because we have a team of people building stuff that makes this stuff happen for you guys and you don't have to build it yourself. So let's take it to problem number three, right? It's not really a problem at this point, right? But how how do we pour rocket fuel on what this is? You guys have been with us this whole time, right? We have talked about taking something from, you know, a million dollars in sales to 2.5 and we're mm -hmm. not there yet. We've oh, gotten to two. We've shown you guys how our blueprint would get us to two, we think. Uh, but how do we take it that rest of the way and go and start making bigger leaps and bounds? Let me show you, right? All right. When we last looked at this math equation, right? We're looking at, okay, something like 2,000 customers a year spending about $1,000 a pop, right? $2 million in revenue, right? All well and good. Well, if you want to really take this to the next level, mess with this number, okay? Get more customers in the door and watch how this thing just takes off, okay? So this, in order to mess with that customer number, here's the question that I want to ask you guys, right? What if the first step to getting into ship 30s world right didn't cost five hundred dollars yep i was thinking that five hundred dollars a lot of money it's steep that's yeah. a steep thing to say hey everybody my name's scott you want to you like to spend five hundred dollars to come and learn more with me right that's, that's a that's tall tough. barrier that's you know tough I mean? for a cold audience that's tough exactly yeah. and especially especially when you're talking about the idea of like you know Anyway, if you want to get more people mm -hmm. in here, if you want to mess with this kind of stuff, we have one very big recommendation, right? Tell us about these books right here, Jordan. What are we looking at here on the left? Okay, so they're digital writers. So they're writing constantly and eventually they write books. So uh, we thought, okay, an easier offer at the front end would be to just sell the books as sort of like a paid lead magnet. Exactly. Yeah. Take one of these books, make it 10 bucks, make it a name your price offer. You know, mm -hmm. again, another cool feature you can do in Sam card and watch how many customers you get in. People confuse customers all the time, right? They say, cool, I need more customers. They think, well, you know, I need more customers paying my biggest Big price. Product, point. You no. know what I mean? No, you need people, you need credit cards on file, right? We have already shown and proven to you guys when you make it easy for people to buy more stuff, they buy more stuff. And so then the idea is, okay, how many, how many people can I just shove into this boat or this house? Or you know, we'll go back to the boat. Maybe, the ship. It's, maybe it's a house boat. Yeah. It's a, a house it, ship. You get into the That's boat and then you get into the ship. Exactly. There we go. Right. So how many more customers do we think we could get if we switched it up? If they started selling, you know, Hey, look, if the only entry point, the only way to step onto the ship, right. Wasn't $500, but we had an easier something to say yes to what would happen. I think in the next 12 months, they probably easily, easily would get 10,000 book customers, right? Yep. Easily. I mean, may, we might do that by the end of this year. You know what I mean? That, and it's kind of, it's kind of tricky too, because the book could be the influence in onboarding into the larger course. So like you write a book that sells your philosophy right. of what the course is. And by the time you finish the book, you're like, I totally agree with this philosophy. And then they say, Hey, if you like this, yep. then you'll love the course and you're already a fan. If you want to scale your business, if you want to scale your revenue, right? This is what you do. 
And again, I see this all day, every day on Sam Card. And I'm telling you right now, the revenue that you get from selling that book or that digital download or that checklist or mm -hmm. something, right? But you need customers, not freebie seekers, not giving it away for free in exchange for an email, right? Totally different story. You want people who have spent money with you, whether whether that's $5 or $5,000, right? But it doesn't even, the money there does not matter. But if the goal is to put more people into Ship 30, imagine how many more people they could put into Ship 30 if they had 10,000 people that had bought something, yep. indoctrinated, love these books, awesome things, great content. How many of those people do you think you could turn around and sell into Ship 30? A ton. We call that qualified leads. That's what qualified we call that. leads is right, qualified. right? We went really conservative with this, really conservative, and said, okay, cool. Of the 10,000 extra book customers, what if we did 5%? turn into ship 30 customers, five. Sure. And honestly, I think that's really conservative, right? But then all of a sudden, watch what happens to this math equation. Now we have 2,500 customers spending $1,000 per, okay? Brings us to $2.5 million in revenue, okay? We are looking at a business that is thriving, that is by all, any stretch of the imagination is succeeding right now. And hopefully you guys can see exactly how easy it is to take someone from, 1.4 in revenue to 2.5 just with the right small kinds of tweaks, right? There is nothing major going on. This is not a huge departure from their business. This is putting more effort into their winners, into the things they already do well. With that, we've got some takeaways, takeaways. like we always do. Uh, am I up first? Is this me? Either one. I think we're, we're I the, think this we're, is we're me. the joint takeaways this time. I think this is me. I'll take this one from hot to hotter, right? Our idea here is if you really want to grow what you have, you know what I mean? You've got to find a way to maximize your hottest leads, okay? And all we're talking about doing here is $500 is a tough barrier to entry. That's a tall bar to get over. You're not going to get many customers over, okay? But if we lower that barrier to entry, we're going to be creating so many happy customers, happy buyers, and we're just going to be growing this pool of people that are going to be clamoring to get into the next Ship 30 cohort, right? So, Focus up, find ways to grow your customer list, right? And watch as they just matriculate up and you fill up your cohort courses, your service offerings, your, you know, your highest price coaching packages, whatever it is that you might have. You want to sell this stuff, right? Find ways to sell a ton of this stuff and watch your business take off. Perfect. And drop your questions in the chat. We're going to answer them here at the last part of the show. Takeaway number two is DIY butt. Okay, so on their page, they have a Stripe checkout page. It's just a little pop-up. But Stripe, it in and of itself as a customer management system is not robust enough. Uh, and as I've, I've listened to thousands of, not thousands, a lot of podcasts, and they are running thousands of zaps to keep their business together. Too many zaps, too many integrations running from here to there. If they just kind of consolidate everything and made a much more stronger sales pitch and a much more or used a much more robust platform like Sampard, uh, they will, can see that average customer value going from $500 to, like we said, $1,000 per customer I, on average. That is the biggest one. I, I, I can't think of anything more impactful, right, yeah. than watching that math equation change, right? Helping your customers spend more. When you have the right features, that just becomes so easy, right? These guys are already doing that. They're already proving that if you give customers opportunities, they will spend more, right? Now, just imagine if they kept going down that line, right, and focus down and made it even easier for customers to do that, right? Guys, thank you guys so much for joining us here at Sam Car to take over Tuesday. Uh, drop again a hashtag SC and your best takeaway from today down in the chat. Love to see those things and love to give away free stuff for someone who does exactly that. But on behalf of the entire Sam Car team and Jordan P. Anderson, I am Scott Moran. Thank you guys for joining us. We will see you next week.